Giovanni, you've been coming to visit with us for quite a number of trips, and you do these lovely paintings of the beach of Ocean City. Can you tell us a little bit about your your approach towards art and painting outdoors? It's a, to be able to keep uh, the freshness of the painting uh, all the time, you know, and to have a new experience every time that I paint. You've been going out twice a day usually. At what time? Uh, kind of early in the morning because uh, um, you know the light and also it's not too hot. Uh, it's beautiful in the early in the morning around maybe seven o'clock, seven thirty to be on the spot, and uh, until midday, twelve thirty one, and then in the afternoon from four to seven there is another beautiful light, and I try to be conscious of where the light hits and uh, so I can uh, uh, choose uh, the spots that I want to be in it. You know, most, uh, most people love Impressionism, Monet and um, Pizarro and Sicily, the French Impressionists. Do you feel like you're in that tradition to some extent? Well, I like a lot uh, um, Sisley, and I think uh, he, does, he does beautiful uh, water and I like it, the, another guy pre-impressionist, uh, but he used to do a lot of marines. Um, that Boudin, the, Boudin, Boudin, Boudin. 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 Yes. I, you know that's funny because I was going to ask you about yeah. uh, Boudin because now Boudin was a French painter, sort of around the time of the impressionists, and he sort of specialized in doing these beach paintings yes. in the mid 19th century of France. And you see lots of people in their swimming costumes, but apparently they're a little different nowadays. Yeah, it's uh, he, he had a kind of a nice, uh, beautiful touch with that, and also used to do some sheep's, uh, um, you know, boots and uh, with the big three or four masts, beautiful skies. He was one of the masters of skies, uh, from my opinion. Is. Now you once told me that uh, when you were in art school, the great your great mentor was a painter named Seymour Remenek. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about Seymour Remenek? What kind of artist was he and what kind of person was he? Well, I think he was very affected by Rembrandt, and uh, especially the drawings. Um, and also to be present when uh, a painter does a painting, to be really in the moment. Seymour, I think that's the, the person that gave me a lot of inspiration in my work. You know, to be able to capture a moment in uh, in in time with a certain light, and uh, to make yours and try to express yourself within that moment, and um, and to have that moment be different in the next painting, and be different in the next painting. So do not rely on the past experience, but try to look, to create the new experience into the future. The reality that I see through my eyes um, inspires me and evokes some feelings in myself, and I try to express that. And it's amazing if, uh, if sometimes I do a painting of, of a landscape and then I take a picture, and when I develop a picture, there is nothing on the picture. I mean, the, 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 the painting that I've done, there is much more substance and... Uh, focus and expression, and a photograph doesn't really um, intensify that. Do you ever use photographs in your painting? No, but I remember once I, I, did, I was in Tuscany, I did this beautiful landscape of San Gemignano from far away, and, um, and I took a picture in that spot, just, just for like a memory. And when I developed that, I couldn't even see San Gemignano <laughs> in the picture. <laughs> Instead, in my paintings, it was the predominant you know, subject matter. So we have a wonderful tool, our eyes, that is uh, you know, much far superior of anything else. In our own feelings, that's, uh, that's another beautiful tool, our own feelings. You know. So I play with that. Now, one artist that I always think of uh, when I think about your work is the the great Italian master uh, who worked mostly doing still lifes, um, Morandi, Giorgio Morandi. Uh, now, both you and he seem very interested in the texture of paint, paint as a substance. Is that important to you, the, the physical nature of the, 
the brush strokes and the paint? Very much. It's a very, very important because I think uh, the material itself has a beauty in it. And uh, what I'm trying, when I paint, and what I'm trying to do is to do not hide the characteristic of the material. A stroke, it's a stroke. And I like it to be a stroke. And in certain contexts, the stroke becomes an object or a piece of light and describes much more than a stroke itself. The way I always like to, to think about it is that a, a painting is an image and an object. It's an image of perhaps a, a place in the world, but it's a physical object. And to the extent that the artist can make the physical nature of that object be an equivalent to the image that it's capturing, then it's a successful painting. Oh, that's a, that's a very, very good observation. Yeah, I like that analogy. Well, one thing that I am fascinated about with your work is how you have this very, what artists refer to as painterly style. I mean, there's, um, there's no doubt that it's a painting. It's not like you're not trying to hide the brushstrokes. In fact, the, the brushstrokes are just incredibly beautiful and varied. Uh, but in some of these, there is such an illusion of, uh, I mean, I'm thinking um, specifically of some of these crowded beach scenes where it, you really get a feeling of hundreds of people and they're just these tiny, tiny little blips of color. H how do you do that? Or well, I, I think I have to have a very small brush <laughs> and try to understand the feelings that uh, that mass of people is giving me and trying to reproduce that feeling. Not reproduce what I see, but the feeling of it. And that uh, um, it's not copying it, but try to extract what I feel and try to, try, try to translate that in, in uh, paint. You know, it's, um, I don't know how do I do it. You know, sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. Um, but just what I go for is for the feeling. Well, we uh, certainly have enjoyed, my wife Nancy and I have certainly enjoyed having you come and visit us. Uh, Giovanni usually stays for a week or so, and he, he is very prolific. Um, uh, he hasn't threatened to cut off his ear yet, so we must be doing something right as hosts. And uh, we enjoy this immensely. And little by little, bits by bits, I construct this uh, very interesting uh, and at the end I was a little lost but um, I had faith I kept going and it seems like that everything worked out.